Wondering what gap teeth are all about? Let's talk. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about gap teeth, specifically between your two front teeth, which is also called a diastema. And while some people are completely proud to rock their diastemas, Madonna, Michael Strahan, Uzo Aduba, Elijah Wood, a bunch of celebs, not everybody is in love with having a gap between their two front teeth. It just depends on the person. You do you, right? Totally no judgment either way, you do you. But for the purpose of this video, let's talk more about diastemas, what causes them, and how to fix them if you choose. First off, what causes causes them. They're usually caused by an overly tight strip of tissue that runs through the middle of the mouth between those two front teeth. If the tissue is quite prominent or tight, it pushes the two front teeth apart from one another. Oftentimes, diastemas run in families. They are genetic, congenital, so if one of your parents has a gap, you are more likely to have one too. But they can also be from other reasons, like where it's not just your natural anatomy. They can also be from impacted teeth, missing teeth, or tooth loss that causes a shift in the overall dentition. They can also be caused by tooth decay and gum disease. So in the case that you have not had a gap most of your life, but now all of a sudden you have an open space that seems to keep getting wider and wider and wider, then that's definitely something to talk with your dentist about. They may need to take an x-ray of that area to see if anything is going on below your gum line. But again, if you've had it your whole life, more likely than not, it's just anatomical. It's just you, baby. The next question I often get about gap teeth is, can they go away? The answer is yes, with baby teeth. With kids, gaps often go away. This is because gaps between baby teeth mean there's more than enough space for their larger adult teeth to erupt properly. So just because your kids' baby teeth have gaps, that does not mean their adult teeth will too. It just means the baby teeth are giving the adult teeth enough space to come in. But the answer for adults, will the gap teeth go away on their own? The answer is most likely no for adult teeth. The only way to get a gap to go away with adult teeth is to work with your dentist to develop an individual treatment plan. Treating gap teeth should be done carefully as the size of your diastema significantly influences your options. But more often than not, this would involve veneers or bondings. Now, if the gap is significantly large, you don't want to place a larger than life restorations on those two front teeth. It won't look natural. So another treatment for diastemas is to snip or laser the tissue between those two front teeth, then bring them together with orthodontics, such as traditional braces or aligners. After your treatment, your orthodontist may also need to bond a permanent retainer behind those two front teeth to prevent them from relapsing. Or they will give you a retainer to wear at night. So should you fix the gap? Correcting gaps in teeth is truly a personal decision, especially if they are only causing aesthetic issues, cosmetic issues. Like we said at the beginning of this video, you do you, baby. Having a space between your two front teeth can totally add flair to your personality and give you a unique smile, and believe it or not, some people actually have created artificial diastemas. Some people request a gap because in some cultures, they are seen as attractive and considered a symbol of beauty. However, just remember that functional gaps that are caused by gum disease and tooth loss, the ones that randomly popped up out of nowhere, if you never had a gap before and now you do, those need to be treated. Because otherwise, the newly created spacing can alter the alignment of your overall smile. So say you have gum disease that created bone loss and caused shifting in your teeth. Let's fix that because that is not a healthy reason to have a gap. And the last question, can you prevent gap teeth? When diastemas run in the family, early intervention can actually help prevent the development of large gaps in teeth. Specifically, if your child receives early orthodontic assessments or takes advantage of phase one braces to adjust the way their teeth grow in. So if you're concerned about your child inheriting your gap, tell your dentist and make an orthodontic consultation appointment. And for those functional gaps, again, those are the gaps created by tooth loss or gum disease, those can be prevented with proper brushing, flossing, and routine professional dental cleanings. Having our teeth professionally cleaned every six months and brushing and flossing each tooth each day, every day, will help keep our teeth and gums tightly in place. In all, having a gap between your two front teeth, a diastema, is completely normal for a lot of people. Normally, like we said, a diastema is caused by tight skin between your two front teeth. That was genetic. You were born with it. Other times, gaps can be created later in life because of gum disease, extra teeth, or tooth loss. And whatever your cosmetic feelings are about your gap, it's always important to talk about your goals and your concerns with your dentist. Maybe you're someone who's embarrassed of that gap. You don't even want to smile in photos, so you want it fixed. Or maybe you are perfectly happy with your gap and you have no desire to treat it at all. Either way, to all those who have healthy teeth and gums and were born with a diastema, you do you, baby. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth. You